We're back with the Biz Marketing team. We've got Anne, Marcel, and Emily with us today. We're talking about our favorite. And this week, we're talking about our favorite apps. And I'm going to kick it off with a few of my favorite apps. Last week, I mentioned the Remarkable, which is a tool that I use to take notes. It's a tablet that you can take note on a device. And one of the favorite apps I have is related to that. It's actually the mobile version of the app. So any notes that I take on my device are automatically shared to my iPad and my iPhone to the app that's in there. It's a cool app in addition to the hardware tool. So it's called Remarkable. Another one that I really love, use it a lot in the winter is called Slopes. What's really cool about that is I'm able to go to a ski area and they've mapped out all the ski areas in the United States at least, and maybe some around the world as well. So I can turn it on when I get started skiing and then just leave it on all day. And then it'll show me all my stats, how many runs I took, how long it took, how fast I went, how many vertical feet I got. And it's a fun way to remember the times that I went skiing and how much fun I had with my friends. And you can actually assign a favorite photo for the day to the session. And then you can look back on your history over the season or over the seasons and see where you were on what day, look at a picture, see how many runs you got, where you went on the mountain. It actually shows you a topographical look of the mountain and So you can actually, and you can actually hit a replay button where it'll show you going up and down and like it's accelerated, of course. So that's really cool. So Slopes is an app that I really enjoy using. It's a iPhone app for skiing. This is Anne. I'll jump in. Any list is probably my most used favorite app. It's for maybe grocery list or shopping list, but you can also store recipes and you can actually download recipes that you find on the net or anything and storm in any list. I've been using it for about 10 years now, and you can even share it with a family. Like you can't say enough good things about it. Another favorite of mine is auto sleep. There's probably a lot of really good sleep apps out there, but it's helped me get through some issues with sleeping that have recorded like my deep sleep and my normal sleep. Um, and then the third one is called My Noise, and it just creates kind of a white noise that you can use, like sitting outside. If you've got a lot of road traffic, you can create kind of an ambiance that blocks it out. Or at night, maybe you want to listen to, believe it or not, rain. <laughs> it's soothing. And I'm amazed at how easily it helps me fall asleep. Cool. Love it. This is Emily. I talked in our favorite like books podcast that I am a very big book listener, but if you use Audible, that can add up. So I use Libby or Hoopla, and I just connect my library card to it, and I get just like insane amount of audiobooks for free. Sometimes you have to wait for them if they're popular books, but it's fantastic. So I use it all the time. And it's not just audiobooks it's, uh, as well, but yeah, so Libby or Hoopla, You can usually find whichever book you want on there. And I love them both. They're probably my top used app. And then just basics, but I love Google Photos. When my daughter was born, I made a little folder on there that I could share with the family. And then I can just choose whichever pictures I want to share with everyone and put in that file because I have 15,000 photos on my phone. So obviously (laughs) not everyone wants to see those. So I can just upload the ones I want put it in that folder and then like grandparents and aunts and uncles get to see all the pictures. So it's really fun and great storage capabilities. I'm a big Google photos fan. Yeah, me too. I use it. One of the features I really like is the automatic backups. Like even if you have a iPhone, you can just make it automatically back up your photos to Google photos. What is really cool as well is it'll organize it in terms of where you are located And I've actually used the search capabilities too, looking for specific pictures of people and places as well. And I'm sitting at my desk in my home office right now, and I have a Google Nest, one of their screens. It's a Google home screen device, and it has all the Google photos on there. And it rotates through the photos automatically. You tell it which album you want to 
look at or look at all your photos and it just automatically curates your photos. I like that as well. How about you, Marcel? Well, there's no surprise. My favorite app is just the Adobe Creative Cloud application set. I just, it's an everyday thing, part of work, but I also use it as an individual because there's no limit what you can create with those applications. You can either use one single application or when you combine them both as well, there's no limitation on, on creativity. I can use some of them in the iPad as well. So definitely my go-to applications. I would say one one of the up-and-comers in mine is ChatGPT. So the, the iPhone app for ChatGPT, I used it the other day. And there's a vocal mode, so you can actually ask questions. Just ask questions and it'll reply to you as well in verbally. Kind of like Her, the movie <laughs> Her, which we <laughs> talked about recently. <laughs> There are so many apps. I'm kind of a a weather junkie too. And the new iPhone weather app actually has a lot of data if you just drill down into it. And I really find that helpful as well. Great. Glad to hear you all have some great apps to use. Let us know what apps you like to use. Maybe we missed one. Maybe there's one we need to hear about. So shoot an email off to bizmarketing.com and maybe we will feature it on an upcoming episode. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for listening to this episode of Biz and Life Done Well with Peter Wilson. You can subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and most of the other popular podcast platforms. Please tell your friends about us and leave us a review so even more people will find out about us. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.